glucose gets converted to how many? Two. 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 Two pyruvates, right? And from this process, which is called what? Glycolysis. Okay, glycolysis, right? Breaking it in half. You net, the net result of that is what? Two ATP. Two ATP. Two NADH. And two NADHs. That happens where? In the cytosol. Do you need oxygen? No. 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 Very good. Now, if oxygen is around, what happens to the pyruvates? Go into the mitochondria, right? They go into the mitochondria and they are converted into acetyl CoA. So I have, I have two pyruvates. I have two, how many acetyl CoAs? Two. 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 The two pyruvates get converted to two acetyl CoAs. Okay. Now, from that process, what do I net besides the acetyl CoA? Uh, two NADHs. Oh, NADH. Two NADHs, right? Okay. So when I convert the two pyruvates, two pyruvates to two acetyl CoAs, I get out of that. I ripped off a few more electrons, right? Okay, so that's where I get the two NADHs. Okay, now, the acetyl-CoAs, both of the acetyl-CoAs enter the what? The Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle, if you want to call it that, right? Krebs cycle, whatever. Citric acid cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Now, that cycle spins twice, right? Because one acetyl-CoA goes through and then another acetyl-CoA goes through. Okay, so we got two turns of the, of the Krebs cycle. And so we get out of that what? Two. Two GTP, which is just, which is just generic ATP, right? What else? Six, six NADH and two FADH two. Okay, now at this point, most of our energy is where? NAD. Yeah, it's on those electron carriers. Excellent. It's in the NAD and FADH two. The NADH and FADH twos are going to be used by the electron transport system to make the rest of the ATP. Because they're going to drop off their electrons. electrons. The electrons are going to bounce down the electron transport chain. What's going to get pumped across? Hydrogen ions. Hydrogen ions or protons, right? They're going to run back through and you're going to get uh, buku synthase. ATP, right? Yeah. Comes through the ATP synthase and you get ATP. So what is this whole thing called? Cellular respiration. One glucose to two pyruvate. How many ATPs do you get? Two. Two, two right? Okay. How many NADHs do you get? Two. Okay. Now, here's where here's where you've got to to hold on a minute. Okay, hang on a minute. These two NADHs, where are they in the cell? In the They're in the cytosol. Where's the electron transport system? In the mitochondria. So, for the two NADHs that are made in the cytosol, you have to spend a little money to get them in the mitochondria. And so what happens is, for those two NADHs, you're only going to net two ATP because they're out here. You've got to pump them into the, into the mitochondria. The rest of these, this, these two NADHs, these six, and those two FADH2s were made inside the mitochondria, right? For NADHs that are made inside the mitochondria, the NADA drops off how many electrons? And how many protons get pumped? And six come back in, you get how many ATP? Three. Three. For the FADH2s that were made inside the mitochondria, how many ATPs do you get? Two. Two, okay? The exception you have to remember are these guys. Because these guys were made where? In the cytosol. They're, they, these guys were made when we converted glucose to two pyruvates, right? That happens, glycolysis happens in the cytosol. But in order to get ATP from these two NADHs, we have to get them into the mitochondria. Okay, so on my chart, <laughs> in glycolysis happens in the cytosol. I get two ATP directly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I get two NADHs, but for each of those, I only get two ATPs. Once these guys deliver their electrons to the electron transport chain, so how many ATPs do I get all together? Four. Four. And the, and the only reason it's not three is because these are where. Cytosol. They're made in the cytosol. Good. Okay. All right. Now, from two pyruvates to two acetyl coase, how many NADHs do I get? Two. Two. Now, that happens where? In the mitochondria. Everything else is going on inside the mitochondria. You don't have to worry about it. So, for these NADHs, I get three ATP per NADH. That gives me how many ATPs? Six. 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 Okay. 
Now, two, two turns through the TCA, or the Krebs cycle, or the CAC, because you've got two acetyl coa so the cycle has to turn twice, right? Okay, so two turns gives you how many NADHs total? Six NADHs. And I'll get three ATPs per six, that gives me a total of 18 ATPs. How many FADH2s? Two. How many ATPs per FADH2? Two. And so two times two is four. And I get directly how many GTPs? Two. Two. And so they're just, yeah, straight, straight across. And so if you add all that together, you should get 36 ATPs. 